This is Twit. That New York Times story. Uh, I'm and, bad as hell, and, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Your You're response. Right. This, I, you know, it was kind of weird that New York Times just printed what is essentially a oh. press release. Oh, without any conflict of interest, up the yin yang for its own industry. But you should explain it first. Headline: Google made 4.7 billion dollars from the news industry in 2018. Study says. Um, and the study, of course, is from the News Media Alliance. Formerly the Newspaper Association of America. They finally <laughs> changed their name. Yeah. And it comes from, I think, a false premise, which is oh. <laughs> that when Google shows snippets uh, from news articles in its search results, the money it makes from those ads, Google should give some of that to the newspapers. It gets worse and worse. They, yes, they, they presume that the value is in the snippet, or as I said in the post I wrote, that it's as if, if you take one sentence of theirs, it's like a camera taking a picture and stealing the soul of a native. <laughs> You've taken all the value out, right? <laughs> and um, so that's, that's problem one. So obviously, all the value is the opposite. Uh, so, so, so it argues at length, see all these ways that Google's gotten more interested in news. They're doing more news and more news and more news. That's all good for the news industry. Yeah, because, because it sends more traffic to news people, right? It, as you point out, every much. month, every month, this is from Google's statement. They're talking about the $4.7 billion. These back-of-envelope calculations are inaccurate, as a number of experts are pointing out. And really, that's true. After the Times published that, everybody jumped on. Uh, the overwhelming lots, number lots. of news queries do not show ads. Number one, the study ignores the value Google provides. And this is, I think, the most important point. Every month, Google News and Search drives over 10 billion clicks to publishers' websites. Now, let's add to that, Leo. That number is eight years old. Wow. It is much higher now, uh, but I couldn't get that number out of them now. I tried. Much well, higher now. And we know because, was it, was it France? Was it Spain? Where did they cut off Google? Spain. 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 And it, yeah, killed, uh, it drew, killed traffic by 10 or 20 percent. It was a big flop. Yeah. And then so so the, so the next fallacy of this whole thing. So the, the, the basic logic of it falls apart in the second paragraph. Uh, Google's paying more attention to news. They should pay us more. No, Google already is paying you more, but giving you more traffic. All flawed from then on. But the real statistical travesty of this is they relied entirely on a 10-year-old com offhand comment uh, in some conference made by Marissa Meyer, remember her, where she was just trying to be nice to news and saying, yeah, yeah, we're not crazy to have news. You know, I don't know. It could be worth $100 million. So they used that and then extrapolated that and said, well, Google's grown this much. They used data from two publishers. Say it's grown this much. Ergo, it's now worth $4.7 million. The entire thing is flawed to flawed to flawed. Now, normally I would Times, just write that off as, well, New York Times, they're one of the newspapers, and this they're is... They're in a conflict of interest. Self-serving. But yes. they're publishing this. They published a study on Monday because the House Subcommittee on Tuesday... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ...having a <laughs> hearing, and the News Alliance hopes... In fact, the director of the News Alliance said he hoped an outcome of any conversation generated by the study would be the passage of a bill, a law, the Journalism Competition and Preservation Act, which would give news publishers a four-year antitrust exemption and allow them to collectively bargain with Google and other online platforms over revenue splitting. So because if, the, you, if, you, if you go Google's all together, it's collusion. Right. And so they're arguing that Google's antitrust. So what's the cure to antitrust? More antitrust. It's all just just ridiculous. And 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 the real problem here is that it's and I, I get in some trouble for criticizing publishers and a lot of them do try and editors do try. And this is really hard. And they, we don't have the answers. I don't have the answers. But this is not the answer. Protectionism is no strategy for the future. Um, it's distracting from their real job, which is to serve the public and figure out new ways to do that. And you know what? Even if they got $4.7 billion and divided by all the members of the News Media Alliance, it's nothing. Nothing. There is no solution here. There is no answer here. Basically, the Americans are jealous that Europe has its um, European Copyright Directive with its horrible clauses. And I had just come from Google Newsgeist 
full disclosure, Google pays for the venue, the food, and a lot isn't, of drink. Isn't that ironic? Uh, <laughs> but we pay for our, um, our our travel. I pay for my travel. Um, in Athens, very nice, by the way. Great grilled sardines. Oh, we're um, going to Athens this fall. You'll have to give us the oh, location. Oh, I wish I knew more. I was there for two and a half days. Uh, but <laughs> um, 20 minutes to the Acropolis. Uh, but I sat in a room filled with European editors and publishers who are scared s -less over what the copyright director was going to do to them. Because they're sitting there in the room saying, well, this this demands that Google licenses and pays for snippets. Google saying, they ain't doing that. No way we're doing that. We didn't do it in Spain. We're not doing that. So then what's the extension of that? Does Google at some point pull, not just pull Google News out, but do they they say, we can't really put in snippets and decent links to news sites that haven't given us a, a license throughout search? So who suffers? The publishers suffer. The journalists suffer. The public suffers. Good work, industry. And, so the, and my, the, the, apparently there's... Uni bilateral support in Congress for this bill. Now, this doesn't right. mean they'll be able to make a deal. Succeed, because uh, yeah. the same thing is going to happen here. They're going to say, pay us, Google. Right. And Google's going to say, say, no. We already give you value. Right. And and the, and you publishers should be smarter about how to uh, exploit those relationships. And they weren't. So what, what did Google do? Google came along and they created Google, subscribe with Google to make it really, really easy to subscribe instantly from Google Pages just because the publishers were too busy to figure out how to do this on their own <laughs> they're and, busy that's it they're busy. um that was nice of me wasn't it <laughs> yeah and um google i think google takes five percent fee something ridiculously little just to just to cover their costs that's it uh and they've been doing that but the bigger issue here is that this is an example that what of what pub news publishers are doing to ruin the internet um and and it's happening over and over and again and um, you know, it occurred to me, Leo and Kevin, that, so I, I appeared on MSNBC yesterday about this, and, you know, when the antitrust argument is made, the problem is that everybody now thinks that Google and Twitter are the internet. They're not. Though what you do to them, you do to the internet, which is an issue. But I sat there at an NBC studio, and I said, Comcast is an internet company, AT&T is an internet company. Amazon's an internet company. Soon, the Washington Post and the New York Times will be internet companies. There's lots of internet companies out there. So when you talk antitrust, let's talk about the whole internet and all the functions of the internet. And I think it's hard to argue antitrust, but that's what's happening in Congress. Uh, and the result is publishers are using their political capital in conflict of interest, and corruptly, corruptly, knowing they have the click, the clout they have, to attack not just Google and Facebook, but also the net itself and how it operates. And I have had it. I am mad as hell in my <laughs> own damned industry. And I'm pissed. And I was far from alone. There were lots and lots of tweets and posts. So I was flying back from Athens. Like 10 minutes before I got on, I see tweets from my friends Aaron Pilhofer and Jay Rosen about this. And Jay saying, you got to get on this. Um, so I'm on the plane with the, with, 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 100 bawd internet <laughs> um, uh, trying to follow all these links and figure out what's what. And I spend most of the flight back from Athens uh, writing this post because I'm just so pissed off at my own industry. What was the outcome in Spain? The outcome with Spain was that, so, so, so I'll, I'll say it just because you'd love to hear me say it. In Germany, the Leistungsschutzrecht, <laughs> uh, the ancillary copyright, uh, said that um, the publisher has to grant a license to 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 allow the snippets. Publishers goes to Google and says, "Pay us for snippets." Google says, "Ha, ah, kind veg, no way." And uh, so then publishers pulled out of Google for literally a few days, hurt like hell. Came back and said, "Okay, Uncle, uh, put us back up." In Spain, there was no option for a free license. Spain decreed that the platforms must pay ev basically everyone in news that they quote. That's another way to uh, negotiate, get the, get the uh, legislator to do it. Well, what happened was Google said, we won't do it. We can't do it. Uh, no way. And thus they closed Google News in Spain. And there have been many reports since that this hurt, especially small publishers. You know, the big guys in all of these discussions, Google and Facebook are the biggest publishers, the New York Times and the Washington Post, they can deal with a lot. 
But I sat in at Newsgeist Europe and there were small publishers there who are hurting already. And these things, when they come along, cause just huge surus and cost for them. Mm. So it, it, it reduces the diversity of the news ecosystem at the time when we need it most. And it's you know, short-sighted and it's anti-competitive and it's stupid. If Google decided to take snippets from our podcasts and push them in search results... I would You'd kiss cheer. their feet. I, mm -hmm. would, I would be so happy. Why wouldn't you be happy, right? Yeah. With a link to yeah. the show? And uh, I mean, it would be the best thing Google could ever do. I'm happy that they're even thinking about uh, indexing the podcast at yes, all. Yes, exactly. Well, mm -hmm. that's a great example. That's a superb example of a parallel about how that's going to be extremely helpful to you. You get more involved in search. Yeah. So it seems yeah. to me almost rent seeking, like, they think Google's rent-seeking, in other words, not adding value and asking for money. But, of course, they're not. It's really the other way around. Google's giving you value, and you're saying, well, you should pay us for the value you're giving us. No. That's yeah, nutty. It's, yeah, it's it's discovery. I, I am one of those uh, small publishers, very small publishers. And I just You're big in about... my mind, Kevin. You're very <laughs> big in my mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, about 35% of my traffic comes from Google News. Um Wow. That's that's not insignificant. Number yeah. one, and uh, number two, wow. I I I wonder. And Jeff, maybe you've seen a real study because I don't I don't buy this any more than anybody else does. The one that we addressed earlier. Is there a study showing how many people maybe who don't subscribe to news sites but still go there as a result of Google News or Apple News or some other you know internet uh, discovery mechanism? The, I'm the guessing it's quite high. Yeah, the problem with with this is that you're kind of proving a negative. Uh, the, the the contrary argument that's made is how many people just see the snippet and don't go. And you're right. saying the opposite okay. of that. How many do see the snippet and go? You don't know what they wouldn't have seen. I in a way, you know what I'm day. saying? I go every mm -hmm. that that happens to me every day. I get I, I get a I get a I look at a snippet and go to a story. But yeah, uh, absolutely. I'm a very specific use case. So Yeah, but I mean so, it is so part of our it is part of our, you know, beat check. I go to tech meme and, and sites like it, yeah. Reddit. And and uh, and I want to see, see a new snippet. sources. I see like here's tech meme with top tech news, right? Well, it's got snippets. I want to see the snippets. It also has links to competing stories from other um Places. You might prefer another brand. Yeah, it has. So, Kevin, tweets. This is all good for everybody. This, this is God. It just drives me it's nuts. It's insane. Yeah. So, Kevin, there was a study. Uh, somebody from uh, a certain large company we happen to be discussing and told me, but but didn't have the details and didn't remember who it was from. So, this is take this with a grain of salt. The size of Utah, because um, I don't have the details, but did say that there was a study in Europe that valued um, the clicks. Now, I don't know. The problem is, is I can't see the study. I can't know what, at what level. Is it just new users? Is it any user? But in the range of like four to five euro for whatever definition that was, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a tangible value for a link. But the only way to exploit that link is if the publisher does so. And if the publisher is going to show you, um, uh, you know, junk links and 55 ads, then you're going to lose them. The publisher's job is to start, try to start to build a relationship with you and find your lifetime value. We're going to get to Mary Meeker's thing in a minute, but one thing that's emphasized is the uh, customer acquisition cost. She said it, it goes up above lifetime value, and that's unsustainable. When you get somebody from Google, that is free customer acquisition. Free. That's where the value is. Yeah, right. My bigger... So there's two issues. One is you don't want Congress to get involved in this because they're God. apparently just going, oh, okay. Maybe because maybe, I don't know, this newspaper alliance pays members of Congress money, but uh, which would be unheard of, but probably the case. Uh, but also because there are reasons to be upset about Google and, and their monopoly. And there are things perhaps Congress should get involved with. This is not one of them. This is a special interest case that I just don't, I don't think benefits anybody. It's stupid. 